channel my name is Wangui Mwangi and I'm a Kenyan RN. I do videos on nurse education, patient teaching as well as health education and today I come back with another video about the requirements, the duration and the approved programs for training nurses in Kenya by the Nursing Council of Kenya. If this is your first time here please take your time to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you're notified every time I upload an informative video such as this one and if you're a returning subscriber know that I deeply deeply appreciate you. So let's dive right in. So the question we are trying to answer today is what are the requirements for one to join nursing school in Kenya? So there are three levels provided by the Nursing Council of Kenya into which one could take up nursing. The first level is certificate in nursing and one becomes a Kenyan enrolled nurse. The second level is a diploma in nursing and this one, once you graduate, you become a Kenya registered nurse. Then the third level is degree nursing or degree in nursing and this once you graduate you either at basic level become a bachelor of science nursing degree graduate or a masters of nursing masters of science nursing degree graduate and the second one is a post basic training the Nursing Council of Kenya has accredited different programs of study for nurses and midwives in Kenya and to date we have about 121 to 125 nursing schools, nursing and midwifery schools or training institutions in Kenya and this I had identified in another video about where to study nursing in Kenya. And therefore, there are di three different levels like I talked about earlier. The first one being the certificate level, then the diploma level, and then the degree level. So the different programs and courses will vary at whatever level. There are different programs within each level. Uh, the first one is a basic uh, training. The first three, the certificate, diploma, and degree. When you're doing the first of each is a basic training but you can do a post basic training of each again. Then we go to postgraduate diploma, which is post basic training. And this one takes shorter time because one will become specialized in the area where they are at, but they are already able to practice as general level nursing. Then we have masters, again, it's a post basic uh, training for those who have already done their degree in nursing. And these ones are also able to specialize in different specialties within the nursing profession. So for certificate of nursing, you require the following. One, I mean aggregate grade that is in KCSE, KCSE of C- minus with relevant combination of other subjects as a requirement. These cluster subjects include English or Kiswahili, they require one language most of the time. Then mathematics, physics or physical sciences, those ones are grouped in one category. Then we have biology, stroke biological sciences, that one is a must to have passed well, and then chemistry. So it means if you have an, a mean aggregate grade of C minus, those subjects should also be C minus in total or better. Then the certificate training will take two and a half years. Note that other certificate programs in Kenya take only two years, but for nurses, you require an extra half because of the practical component. And then this, I haven't found the documentation about it, but it is there. It is usually in most of the uh, colleges that train nurses, they say you have to be at least 17 years old. This is as prescribed by the Nursing Council of Kenya. So for diploma in nursing, there are two levels at which one could gain their diploma. 
the first level is the basic diploma and after which you can go further and do a post basic diploma which will give you better specialization in one specific area of nursing. So training at diploma level requires the following. Uh, a KCSC mean grade of C. This is C plane. Remember for certificate you said C minus or equivalent for other courses. For those people who did not do the KCSC, if you did IGCSC or you had done the the others that used to have the KCV or what was it called? The one that had division one, division two. So you take mean grade C or its equivalent with relevant combination of the cluster subjects such as English, Kiswahili, Biology, Biological Sciences, Mathematics, Chemistry, Physics and Physical Sciences. The duration for basic diplomas is usually three years except for community health nursing which lasts three and a half years. So they are about 18 approved diploma nursing programs and there is follows. The first one is Kenya Registered Nurse, KRN, that's the abbreviation. And this is a basic diploma that takes 36 months or three years to complete. Then number two, we have Kenya Registered Community Health Nurse, that is KRCHN in full. And this is basic diploma that takes 42 months or three and a half years to complete. Then we have Kenya Registered Nurse Midwife, KRNM. And this is a basic diploma that takes 42 months to complete. So very similar to the community health nursing diploma. So number four, we have Kenya Registered Nurse, Mental Health and Psychiatric Nurse, KRN MHP. And this is a basic diploma that takes 36 months to complete. And it is only offered in Madari KMTC campus. I don't think we have any other school that offers this program. Then we have Kenya Registered Midwife, KRM a post basic diploma that takes 12 months to complete. Then we have Kenya registered community health nurse as a post basic level and it takes 12 months to complete. So for example, somebody had done, uh, let's say a certificate in nursing and they want now to do a diploma, they could take up Kenya registered community health nurse, KRCHN as a post basic course so that they are no longer enrolled nurses but registered nurses in the end. Then, number seven, we have Kenya Registered Psychiatric Nurse, and this is a nurse who did their basic uh, diploma, let's say KRN, and then now wants to specialize with psychiatry. So this is in short called KRPN, and it's a post-basic diploma that takes 12 months to complete. Then we have Kenya Registered Ophthalmic Nurse, and this is a post-basic diploma that takes 12 months to complete. So number nine, we have Kenya Registered Pediatric Nurse, and this is a post-basic diploma that requires 12 months to complete. Then we have Kenya Registered Perioperative Nurse, and this is a post-basic diploma that requires 12 months to complete. We have Kenya Registered Nurse Anesthetist, KRNA, and this is a post-basic diploma that takes 12 months to complete. Uh, in some schools though, it could take up to 18 months. The duration may vary, so it depends on the program you're getting yourself into. Then we have Kenya Registered Critical Care Nurse, KRCCN, and this is a post-basic diploma that takes 12 to 18 months to complete. Then we have Kenya Registered Nephrology Nurse, and this is a post-basic diploma that takes 12 to 18 months to complete. Then we have Kenya Registered Accident and Emergency Nurse, and this is a post-basic diploma that requires 12 months to complete. Then we have Kenya Registered Neonatal Nurse, and this is a post-basic diploma that takes 12 months to complete. Then we have Kenya Registered Palliative Care Nurse, and this is a post-basic diploma that takes 18 months to complete. As well as the last one being Kenya Registered Oncology Nurse, a post-basic diploma that takes 18 months to complete. The last one is quite new, and I think it's only offered in Kenyatta Training School, Nursing, Nurse Training School, and... Moi referral teaching and referral hospital as well as Arakan. I don't know whether there is any other person offering this diploma. Uh, for Kenyatta, I think it is very, very new. I think we have the... It started about a year or two ago. So I don't think it's beyond two years old. Uh, but at least it's the good news is that you do not have now to go all the way to Eldoret. If you are seeking that diploma, you can do it right here in Nairobi, in Kenyatta, Rahim Tula Training School. 
So the last level is degree in nursing. And because I had said there are two levels, you can do this. The basic one is Bachelor of Science in Nursing. And this is where you become a BSN Kenya Registered Community Health Nurse. So it is BSN KRSHN. And it takes five years to complete. This is four years in the university plus one year of internship. Uh, this internship, you're usually treated like um, a qualified nurse, only that you have to be still observed because they consider you to be a novice nurse. Uh, therefore, it is counted as part of your training. So somewhere between when you graduate and when you finish your internship, you should already have, have done your nursing council essential exam so that by the time you're completing your internship, then you're going to get your license to practice. You only get your nursing license after you have completed your one-year internship as a BSN. So it is very, very important to remember to keep studying for that nursing council essential exam and take it so that by the time you're completing your internship, then you're ready for licensure and registration. Before that, for you to practice during the internship, you're given a preliminary uh, license that only lasts you the 12 months you will be doing your internship. Then there's the master's level. And in this level, you supposed basic degree, of course, and it takes about two to three years to complete, depending on the university and the program. Uh, but then we have different specialties you can take up. And we have medical surgical nursing, perioperative nursing, nursing education, oncology nursing, critical care nursing, nephrology nursing, accident and emergency nursing, nursing research, uh, nurse are the anesthetist. So there are so many specialties in different universities. So it is just a, an, a, a point of you to check and realize which university you want to go to. We have so many universities nowadays offering nursing. It's not only Nairobi, University of Nairobi and KU anymore. Now we have University of Nairobi, KU, we have MKU, we have KEMU, we have Masinde Moliro, we have Maseno. Uh, we have MOI, so we have so many universities offering uh, degrees in nursing and therefore you can choose whichever you want. Baraton, I don't know why where I, where I was forgetting Baraton, is one of the most important nursing schools because it has been there for longer among the private schools or the mission-based schools. So to develop this content, I used these three websites listed down here. I also used other websites, uh, individual websites of universities or nursing schools offering nurses, nursing training, sorry. And therefore you can check as many as those uh, schools or training institutions I had spoken about earlier in my video about where to study nursing in Kenya. Thank you so much for watching through this video. I hope we have learned together about how one could get to a nursing school, the requirements, the durations of training, as well as the different approved training programs. There could be more that because the nursing council is approving programs every single day, probably. Uh, but then these are the, those that I could find. Um, you can refer to those references. You can go to the website of the Nursing Council of Kenya. You can go to each different uh, nursing school that I had covered where in my video about where to study nursing in Kenya. Go to their individual websites and you are going to be able to learn more about what courses they are able to offer, especially in nursing. And also inquire from them if you do not meet the required, let's say you have a mid grade of C plus, but there is one of the cluster subjects that you are not meeting the minimum requirement. Ask them what you could do because some of these things could be topped out. You could be told where to bridge if that is even possible, or then you could be given an alternative of what to do. Thank you so much, and let's continue learning and keep tuning into this channel so that we continue growing. I am so proud that we are now at 200 subscribers, and we are this is our fourth month. To coming to the close of the fourth month so thank you so much for the support and i love you guys bye